Meerkats. Meerkats are small, squirrel-sized critters that come from the mongoose family. Cute, furry little meerkats have pointy brown noses, stripy backs, a long, thin tail to help with standing, and dark brown patches around their binocular vision eyes. Meerkats forage for a variety of food each day. Scratching around in the sand, they look for insects like beetles, spiders, and scorpions, or small reptiles, birds, eggs, and fruit. Living in large family groups of up to 40, called mobs or gangs, they have amazing teamwork. While the mob forages, some of the meerkats, called sentries, keep a lookout for the others. They stand tall while their heads dart around, searching for predators. The sentries let out a loud squeal if they see something, and everyone runs to the safety of the burrow. Meerkat burrows contain lots of entrances, tunnels, and rooms. Inside the burrow, babysitters take turns looking after young meerkats called pups. Meerkats use the large, curved claws on their fingers to dig their elaborate homes. Did you know meerkats worked so well together as a team? I bet you can do the same with your family and friends. This is what I call life, Peppa. A full tummy, a beautiful view of the ocean, and not a care in the world. Not bad being a fearless adventurer, is it, Ed? Nothing else I'd rather be. Or do, just floating along the currents, admiring the fish, and heading straight into trouble. How fascinating. <clears throat> what do you mean, fascinating? He's got us in his grip. We're about to be eaten alive. Get us out of here, Eppa. Look at those incredible arms. Don't you mean suckers that could squash us in an instant? It's okay, Ed. There's no need to be afraid. It's just an octopus. It may look like something from outer space, but it's actually quite calm. Octopus? What a strange name. It's actually a Greek word meaning eight legs. He's freed us. Told you, we're not his usual tasty snack. Hold on to your helmet, Ed. We're off! Jumping bananas! Shark! Oh dear, now these creatures may just like the taste of us. Don't look at me, Shark. There's definitely not enough meat on this alien to feed a monster like you. I think I'll get us out of here. That sea anemone should be cover enough. See what? Just get us out of here. You're quite jumpy underwater, aren't you, Ed? Well, who ever heard of underwater aliens? It's not exactly our natural environment. And speaking of which, where are we? We're hiding in sea anemones. Fancy name for a plant. It's not a plant, Ed. It's actually an animal. It's basically a small sack that is attached to the sea floor, and it has all these tentacles surrounding a mouth. They have poison in their tentacles, which they use to protect themselves and catch prey. Really? This is a very strange place to be hiding, Eppa. Not really. Other fish also hide out here for protection. Take the clownfish, for instance. Finally, a fish with a simple name. Why does it swim so close to the anemone? You know, the poisonous tentacles and all. The clownfish is immune to the poison, so it can't harm it. I think it's time I take a dip. Let's watch the clownfish for a moment. If it's calm, then it's safe for you to go out. So, what's the clown up to? Okay, Ed, go swimming, but stay close. Hey there, fishy. Wait, oops, this cable is a little important, so don't get it caught on anything. What kind of fish is this, Eppa? It's a tang, Ed. They look beautiful, but can get very angry quickly, so watch out. He doesn't look that big to me. They are powerful swimmers that combat tidal forces when they're looking for food. Small in size and strong inside, like me. 
Oh dear, here we go again. You really should come out here, Ethel. It's great. What's that? I think you've just come face to face with a starfish, Ed. The super star of fish. It's not technically a fish, more like a distant relative of the fish. How does it eat? It has tiny tube feet under its arms that help it feed. On what? They usually eat small fish or other smallish sea animals. Are they always reddish purple? They come in many colours and textures to help disguise themselves in the brightly coloured coral. Hey Ed, stay away from the dark holes in the coral. It's not safe. Come on, Eppa. It's totally calm out here. I want to see more. Oh no! Keep still, Ed! Don't move! You'll be fine! I'm... I'm fish food! Get a grip, Ed! Help! Just use your flash to see what's really out there! It's just a cleaner shrimp, Ed. Nothing to be afraid of. Thank goodness! I thought it was another killing creature! They eat almost anything. They are the ocean's version of a scavenger. They eat both plants and meat. How? They've been known to crawl over bodies, fins, eyes, and even gills of a larger fish and eat off all the parasites. Yay! What now? Nothing, nothing. Just a snuggy thing. It looks kind of like a black sea worm. You're going to love the name of this one, Ed. It's called a sea cucumber. Like the vegetable? Exactly. They're mostly found on the seafloor, where it feeds off all the dead material found there. It's got a strange-looking skin. It's kind of leathery with feathery tentacles. Mr. Feathery Leathery, it's a pleasure to meet you. There are a whole lot of creatures on the sea bottom that wait for sharks and other predators to drop bits of food from out of their mouths so that they can have a meal on the leftovers. What's that, Eva? It's called a hermit crab. They also wait for bits to fall from above. What's it doing behind that shell? Hermit crabs don't have a shell of their own, so they find empty seashells to crawl into to protect their soft bodies. Watch out for that sea urchin, Ed! Hey, this thing has got some funny-looking legs. They kind of look like hedgehogs that you find on land. I'm sure stepping on one would hurt. You're right. It uses its spines to protect itself. I think my fingers are starting to get wrinkles from the water. I'm heading back, Eva. <laughs> are you all right? Nothing an explorer of the deep can handle. Wow, that was really cool. I could get used to this underwater world. I'll never forget your face when that shark appeared. As long as I'm here to have another adventure, I'm happy. Me too. Giraffes. Giraffes always have the best view. Tall necks and long skinny legs. Giraffes tower above all their friends. Their large bulging eyes give them great all-round vision too. Giraffes bodies are covered with wonderful orangey brown spots. This works as great camouflage. You still have to be very careful when drinking, though. That's when they are most vulnerable to attack from other animals, like lions. Being so tall means they can eat from the tallest trees. Giraffes love to munch down thorny acacia trees. Luckily, their purple tongues are tough and covered in strong, bristly hair to protect them from the sharp thorns. Naughty male giraffes sometimes fight over girls. They do this by hitting their necks together. Their long necks crash into each other.
Would you like to see how tall a giraffe is in real life? Yes, that would be impressive. <laughs>